Here we are, right after the Sam Gambier Award session. Josh, it was amazing. It was such a hot competition. It was. I'm still sweating. It was a tough competition. It was. It came down to the golden, golden question. So it was really close, but finally we do have a winner. What a great idea. Who had this idea to have a Sam Gambier Award? The idea was all Stefano's and he was very kind to ask me to participate to this session and co-host with him. And I think the reason is because I went overseas for three months during my training and that completely changed my career. Sam Gambier, an inspirational person as we saw at the end in the video, which made us all very emotional, including one of the candidates. Did you know him personally? No, I didn't know him personally, but um, interestingly enough, right after I went to talk to Stefano for the first time in Bologna, I came back home and I googled nuclear medicine because I knew very little about it. And I came across one of uh, Sam Gambier's videos and uh, he was giving a talk in molecular imaging at Stanford University. And I was very, very intrigued and amazed by this amazing professor explaining things in such an easy way. The questions were brutal. I didn't write the questions and I had no knowledge of many of the answers. They were really hard questions and we had to be tough with the competition to figure out who could stand out in the candidates. Do you think that this concept is going to stay at ENM? I hope so. I think we need more interactive sessions. As it's been highlighted, what we have missed and lacked in these three years of pandemic is interaction, debate, liveliness and in a, in a way we are so good at that in nuclear medicine we need to promote that more certainly what did you think of the candidates they were all amazing as i told them in the presentation they were amazing just for putting their hand up just for showing up in front of so many senior colleagues and put it out on the floor for the science and for the the prize it was phenomenal to watch that happen live on stage indeed all six were brilliant and very feisty and fought so hard for their future in Stanford. David, you were so smart up there and so composed and the number 11 got him winning. Can you imagine? Because all those questions were gone and Stefano had to come up with a PSMA question. So yeah, it was really a tough one and really in, in the end. And then the number 11 seems to be my lucky number from today on. Why did you apply? Oh, I loved the, the competition and, and also the idea of, of this event here and, and also the opportunity to go to Stanford is really, really a great one, which I'm really looking forward to it. And I hoped for, for getting the win and still can't believe it that I, I really won because of this number 11. At the introduction, we learned that you are not only a nuclear medicine physician, but also a physicist. How come? It was still, it was always both my pleasure. So after school, it was not really easy for me to decide between the two of us. And then in the end, I came up with the maybe easiest solution to do both of them. And yeah, nuclear medicine is perfect field to, to combine both of these uh, topics to sub these subjects. Even though the competition is tight and all the competitors are very, very strong, just stick to your knowledge, stick to what you know, and don't forget to play 11 on the lottery. This was Inside the ENM 22. Stay tuned.